Hello and welcome to a John Day QA tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to synchronize a SharePoint list with Excel data. Now in order to do this we need to do three different tasks. The first one is to download and install the WSS and Excel add-in. Then we're going to create a SharePoint list using the Excel data table data and then we'll show you how to synchronize that data between SharePoint and the Excel application. In order to do this, we need to get a copy of the SharePoint Synchronize WSS and Excel add-in. And this goes into Excel. Now you can go into Google and type in the keyword Synchronize WSS and Excel. Now most of the sites that do provide this provide it as an exe or an executable file. And if you're working within a business, you'll probably find you're restricted from downloading and installing executable files. So you're looking for the Excel AM add-in if you can. So I've downloaded the file, place it in a convenient location where I can find it, and now I'm going to launch Microsoft Excel and add that add-in to the application. So what I've done in advance, you can see I've put in a little table of data so I can test this add-in and show you where it's placed. To do this I need to convert this data into a proper Excel table. So I'm going to select the range, click the insert tab and click table. Just convert the range to a data table. Now you'll see that it shows a table tools design contextual tab and about there on the ribbon where I'm flashing you can see uh, all these greater areas. That is where the synchronize button will appear. That will allow me to create a SharePoint list and place it into a synchronized state with the Excel table. So I'm going to add the add-in, go to File tab, click Options, and then go to the Add-ins category. At the bottom, I'm going to say Manage Excel Add-ins and click Go. Now you can see I've already installed it, so that's what it's going to look like when it's finished. But I'm going to install it again anyway. Click Browse, locate the file, select it, and click OK. But as you can see, it's installed, and I'm going to make sure it's ticked so that it's enabled to the Excel application. I'm going to click on OK. And you can see, with the data table enabled, on the Des Table Tools Design tab, there is the new Publish and Allow Sync button. So what's the difference between that and the usual export table to SharePoint list. Well, exactly what we are showing today, this particular button is designed to synchronize so that any data added to the SharePoint list or to the Excel data table will synchronize in both directions so that both locations will have each other's latest changes of information. So I'm going to select a proper big table of employees information you can see I've got some uh, columns and lots of rows about people. I'm going to select this table. And the idea is that the forename column, the first one here, because it's a string text or a single line of text, will be my item menu in the SharePoint list. So I'm just going to select that table, go to the Insert tab, and convert it to a data table. It has to be a data table for the synchronization to work. So if I select that range and confirm it, you can now see on the Table Tools Design tab again the Publish and Allow Sync. I've only got to click that button once in order to create the link between Excel and SharePoint. So give that a click and then type in the name of my SharePoint site. And then I'm going to provide a nice name. So I'm going to call this one Staff, nice and short. OK. I click Publish and in a short burst it will now update the data and create a new SharePoint list. And I can see it's done. What it has done for me is created a new column in my Excel data table that has a unique ID for each row, or as it will be in the SharePoint list, each item. So that number is used to make sure that the correct row is synchronized 
with its counterpart in the other object. So let's look at the SharePoint list and see how that looks. So here's my site. You can see though that the staff list hasn't appeared on the quick launch. Very much like in the browser when I import an Excel spreadsheet into SharePoint, the default doesn't appear on the browser. So I'm going to view all site content and there is my staff SharePoint list. I'll give that a click and there is the data. What I'm going to do to prove this works, I'm just going to change some information about Colin Drew. So I'm going to change Colin's department. So I'm going to edit this item. And he was in finance. He's now been moved to admin. Just going to change that data and save it. And I'm going to do the same thing in Excel. I'm going to change another bit of data to another record. So I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to change Anne Bartlett, who is in HR, but she's changed her location from Birmingham to London. Now, how do you synchronize? Well, you don't use the publish and allow sync again, because that's exactly what it says at the top. It's to publish, to create a new SharePoint list. What I do instead, a nice little shortcut, is I can put my mouse anywhere in this data table, right mouse click, go to the table option and there you'll see there's a synchronize with SharePoint and that is how you maintain the synchronization between the two existing data lists. So give that a click. You can see that Colin's information was finance is now admin in Excel. If I go to the SharePoint list and again I've got to press F5 to refresh the page to grab the new changes and there you can see Anne as I put in Excel, is updated to her site to London. OK, now here's the catch. The Excel workbook must be saved in the Excel 97 to 2003 workbook format. Otherwise, next time you open the workbook, the file will lose its connection to the SharePoint list. So that is how we create a synchronization between a SharePoint list and an Excel data table.